Yeah, uh, uh, becoming a father, it's a different feeling, uh, totally. Especially when the first time, a dad, you know, um, you, you tend now to have priorities, you know, when, and it, it awakes uh, different feelings, you know, uh, in terms of the love feelings, you know, uh, the responsibility, you know, and how you look life, you prioritize, you know, and it's absolutely amazing, you know, uh, it, it, it changes your landscape, it changes everything about you. You know, uh, as a dad, and it's a, it's an amazing feeling uh, because it's something that it's difficult to describe, but it takes, it takes over your body, it takes over your mind. You know, uh, and 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 it become. I think it, it becomes real. Uh, you know that. Uh, uh, you are alive. You you feel more alive than before. You know, and and, and it's, it's 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 absolutely amazing. It's it's great. It's the, the feeling of attachment. You know, uh, to 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 not just to the kid, but to you, to yourself. You know, you feel attached to to to, to many things that means more in life than anything else. I mean, as a footballer, yes, it's great to go out and have it's good fun, you enjoy yourself, but when it comes to fatherhood, it's different, it's the responsibility, it's love, and a totally different feeling. You see, it's very important. I mean, you've touched that, you've touched that's a great uh, element there in terms of values, because that's what, uh, it makes you, but you start with yourself, you know, as a, as a father. You instill those values. Actually, they were instilled, you know, by your parents. And you want to instill them as well, you know, but you manage yourself first, you know, to make sure that what the, what the kids see in you, it matches the values that you were instilled when you were growing up. But again, it's different because, you know, it might be different, uh, 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 um, what is it, different times, you know, uh, uh, the time you would have moved on. But again, you know, you try with what is happening now and what the kids are bound to, the different lifestyle, but you try and uh, incorporate, you know, what, how your life was when you grow up with the values that makes you, not makes anybody, but makes you the unique person that you are because you want the kids to, to be themselves. You want the kids to grow up with a personality and it should be a different personality. You know, you kind of want them to be like you, you know, you want them to be better than you, which I think for me, it's values play a massive role. We should grow up under the values that with respect, you know, uh, which is amazing attitude. For me, attitude, it's everything else, you know, uh, because you can't switch in, you can't switch it on or off, you know, when uh, uh, um, hard work, loyalty, you know, that's things that the kids look at when they're young and they learn it from you. So you have to embody that so that the kids can follow. What a difficult one, <laughs> you know, you know, it's always difficult to balance uh, uh, the responsibilities, but you try our best to be natural. You try our best to be you and deal with the situation as they arise, you know, because I think uh, I'd never be an example to the kids or give them a wrong example or, or, or sell them a different story, you know, to what I want them to be, you know, so, so it, it, it is very, very hard. I don't think it will definitely balance, but I think somehow, you know, they will actually not fluctuate, 
but but they will the scale will always tip on both sides sometimes you will tip on, on, on the other side and sometimes on the other side but you always try uh, not to level it but to try and and get to a, a point where what you teach them or what you they love it's equal to what they want to be in their life I don't get any presents. Eh? <laughs> I wish I would get any presents on Father's Day. I mean, it comes once, and I, if they remember, <laughs> because sometimes it does, it's their choice whether they remember or, or not. Then it just goes, it just goes by, just like that. Eh? Uh, I mean, uh, for me, I, I think. Um, a boy child is most important. Yeah, not not that uh, maybe a girl child not, but fatherhood uh, we live, you know, to to make our sons to be successful. Not successful in terms of having money or having cars, you know, but being a father and being an exemplary not just to their kids but to their community for me that's 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 most important and uh, and yes we, we we want them to fill the shoes you know they sometimes they might be bigger sometimes they might be smaller but uh, uh, they sometimes give wrong impressions <laughs> but but you know what we we try our best you know to model you know uh, or, or, or to make sure that uh, uh, we give yeah, our kids that role modeling not it's not about for me it's not about uh, uh, I mean I was talking about presence and it's not about that it's not but it's all about and they have a goal in life it means a lot to me spending the time with them one-on-one -on -one, you know you know sharing ideas you know sharing um, uh, uh, the challenges in life, you know, uh, opening up to the kids. Because for me, I make myself vulnerable to them, you know, so that, uh, you know, we can forge that relationship of father-son, father-daughter, which I think for me, it's very important. You know, I, I think it's, a, it's, a, it's hard work. It's, it's hard work, uh, it's, it takes a lot of commitment and a sacrifice, um, you know, to be, to be a father. You know, uh, I think you realize that uh, this is another level in life where you have to step up and be, and be present as a father, not just as a father in the, at home, but as a father in the community, you know, and and as a, because we, yeah, maybe as a role model, uh, and which is almost sometimes very difficult, because as fathers, we want to have fun as well. We want to be fathers that will take care of other, things, other responsibilities that makes me who I am. You know, uh, and I want as well. You know, they they should they should they should mold themselves around around me, around the family, and and the community. Uh, I think for me that's that's that responsibility as a dad. It must come within, and not as a responsibility as love. You know, and and care, and, and for me that that makes um, that makes trying to be a good dad because I, I don't know what the good dad is, I don't know what the best dad is, but you can be the best that you can be. Yeah, when I get socks, <laughs> you know, yeah, when they try to to wrap around my fingers and you know uh, instead of uh, taking me out me taking them out you know it's just because <laughs> i'm hoping that they will as as well as they you know they should be taking me out but 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 that's 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 being a father you know uh, you look at your kids uh, different with love and care you know with that passion you know uh, but uh, 
I, I think when it comes to uh, um, uh, uh, when to come when, when it comes to that day, especially not one kid because I don't have one. Eh? I've got more than one, more than two. <laughs> but I'm not gonna say how many. <laughs> I, <laughs> I have, but uh, but uh, when it comes to surprises, because I love. I don't ex as a dad, as a father, I don't expect much from the kids. I, you know, well, unless they're working good job, they have good jobs. <laughs> but but to be honest, I don't expect anything. I expect Happy Father's Day. I expect hugs, you know, when little kisses. But in terms of presents, it's up to them. And, and to me, that's how, that's what they showed me. You know, they showed me love. They showed me commitment and the passion, you know, in them. You know, yes, they will want to take me out for coffee, you know, for a bit of whiskey. I'm not a drinker. But, uh, <laughs> but I, I do appreciate the times well spent with the kids on the day. Yeah, absolutely. You know, uh, I like, uh, you guys must do briefs, huh? Sometimes you must, I must show up in briefs. No, I'm joking. <laughs> but the thing is that, you know, um, it's brilliant because you get, uh, you get, you collaborate or you get, you have a relationship with brands like Polo or John Craig, you know, and it's amazing how people take it in. All the kids now start asking, looking at, at the little polo shirt. Well, of course, I brought at some point I brought my, my daughter. When she's wearing that, she she will come to me and say, "Dad, look at this. We look the same." You know, which is which is absolutely brilliant. I adore the stuff like that. That my older son will come and say, "But Dad, that's proper. Can you get me a pair of that?" I'm like. Or sometimes I go look in the old drop where my stuff is, I, it's missing. And I exactly know where it's gone. I'll be, I'll be walking around the house, each and everyone's bedroom, just to check <laughs> if there's my items there. And I'm telling you, I will find an item. In every room, I'll find one of my items that they've taken from my old drop. And it's, it's absolutely amazing. And then I'll sit back and laugh about that. But I love uh, 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 um, the style. I love uh, uh, being with brands that can actually interact, not just being brands looking good, but interact in a certain way with, with, with the people around you.